A sunny and pleasant Friday afternoon in May, exactly what we had here five years ago, except then we were walking you through a dark tragedy unfolding at the Virginia Beach Municipal Center. Eventually, we lost 12 neighbors with four civilians injured and a police officer hit in his ballistic vest. Brett Hall talked with a 911 dispatcher who answered the call himself in a manner of speaking. Brett? Tom, absolutely. The shooting occurred inside the former Building 2 at the Virginia Beach Municipal Center. It's the building you see in the background here. It housed public utilities, public works, planning, and the IT departments. However, to say they were the only departments in the city impacted would be far from the truth. Over at the 911 call center, we are seeing someone who on May 31st, he says he saw something that he never saw before and may never see again. And it's what keeps him going five years later. As a 911 dispatcher, Matt Berg says you are never truly alone. Virginia Beach 911, where's the emergency? It's a 24 hour operation with someone ready to answer the call at any time. But we have some people that just like working night shift. But only one time has Matt seen everyone drop what they were doing when they were off shift to answer the call that changed many in this city forever. So everyone that was physically able to answer a phone was answering the phone um, and, and the entire room was packed. I mean, I know that it's protocol, um, but that, that's just the type of people that we are. He says much of the rest of that day was a blur. He tried to comfort those who answered the initial 911 calls while helping to answer calls for the rest of the city. While he says he is proud of his coworkers, he's inspired by the story of accounting clerk Ryan Keith Cox, one of those who lost their lives that day. I think of his sacrifice and his courage and, and his service and his willingness to do something that he didn't have to do in that moment. Um, you know, he could have just stepped into the room and been safe, and instead he chose to turn around and he chose to help. I, I think that people like him exemplify what it means to be a city employee, what it means to work for this city. He says this is why he stays. And that's the type of person that I try to be every day. He hopes others honor those who lost their lives by doing the same. And this is just a reminder, we still have all 12 victims that lost their lives, an individual bio, so you can remember them on wavy.com. We posted it the day after the shooting, five years ago, and it is still there right now, so you can remember them too. Brett Hall, 10 on your side.